Are you trying to improve your teaching despite the ongoing disruptions in education? Or do you want to position yourself strongly throughout the next wave of education reform? Or do you simply want to engage your students and feel like you're making an impact? In this video, we'll aim to introduce one concept that will aim to address those questions and many more by proposing that now, more than ever, is the time for learning design. But what is learning design and how can you start to make it a key part of your teaching practice? Well, very generally, learning design can be described as a framework that supports the development of learning experiences by guiding educators to make deliberate choices about what, when, where, and how to teach. But why can it be useful? Well, reflecting back on 2020 and hearing perceptions of online, remote, or distance learning based on the transition that happened at the beginning of the year, it's kind of like judging a turtle's value based on his ability to climb a tree. I know that's a misquote of an Einstein saying, but the point is that what was delivered during this time was not designed for the modality of delivery. And therefore, whenever I hear about um, perceptions or read articles about the success of this period, I always have an asterisk in my mind. And I'm thinking that the, the asterisk should have emergency measure um, next to any of this material because it was emergency online, emergency remote, emergency distance, and sometimes emergency face-to-face. -face. And that's not the same as well-designed alternatives. So when I think about post-pandemic education and the big challenges that we face moving forward, while I hear things such as online learning doesn't work, my students won't do the online material, and my students aren't engaged, my subject can only be delivered in a face-to-face -face modality, um, or I have to talk for the whole session because um, I have so much content to cover, um, and of course that there's not enough time to do things differently. I do hear all of these concerns, but the biggest challenge I think is how we approach our teaching. Um, how we move to a mindset of design and creating learning experiences rather than covering content. It's a big shift and I don't have all the answers, but I think the first step could be a commitment to approach each session as a learning experience that needs to be designed. And I expect many of you will be thinking, you know, I've taught my subjects hundreds of times over X amount of years and I know exactly what I'm doing. In that case, I imagine you'll have a well-polished, well-created product for delivery. The difference, however, between um, having something nicely crafted and created and design is that craft is doing something well, whereas design is about trying to do something better, to create and to improve and to evolve the product or the session in our case. The good news in relation to learning design though is that you'll already be doing many aspects. The main thing I think is to try and identify some of the components and be very specific about developing and experimenting with them. So this is all abstract I know, so let me try and get a little clearer by proposing where you can start with learning design by considering the following. So this is a big one, as we tend to teach how we were taught and it worked for us, so what's the problem? Well, just like science and evidence has evolved most professions, we now know much more about how we as humans learn and therefore how we can create more effective teaching that resonates with a much broader range of people. As with learning science, theories of learning can help inform your approach to teaching and help us understand why some things work in order to replicate that success. Identifying opportunities for assessment, both formally and informally, is crucial to support and inform both you and your student throughout their learning experience. There are numerous approaches to learning or instructional strategies to consider using in your learning design to help guide the delivery of your content. 
Alignment is key to bring all these components together. Alignment of well-developed learning outcomes to well-designed assessments and to appropriate content is vital to ensure a quality outcomes-based learning experience. Good learning design will also help you to understand what works in your teaching and what doesn't, and help you to replicate the good things and identify areas for improvement. And of course, we can't forget about considering appropriate use of technology in our learning designs that can help to ensure the achievement of learning outcomes. So this video has just scratched the surface of learning design, but I hope it has given you somewhere to start. Um, as mentioned, you'll already be doing most of these things. Learning design is just about making some things a little bit more explicit in our thought and development process. So by selecting appropriate theories, strategies, delivery modalities, activities, technologies, and assessments allow for the creation of engaging learning experiences replication of success and strategies to resolve areas for improvement. In our next video, we'll be looking at five tips to consider when approaching your learning design. I hope you got value from this video and if you have, please hit like and subscribe to our channel.